On this day in 1914, the Ottoman Empire declares a holy war. Religious leader Sheikh al-Islam declares an Islamic holy war on behalf of the Ottoman government, urging his Muslim followers to take up arms against Britain, France, Russia and Montenegro in World War I. On this day in 1851, Herman Melville's classic book Moby Dick is published. Initially, the book about Captain Ahab and his quest for a giant white whale was a flop. Today, it is considered a classic of literature. On this day in 1882, gunslinger Franklin Buckskin Leslie shoots bull Billy the Kid Claiborne dead in the streets of Tombstone, Arizona. On this day in 1969, Apollo 12, the second manned mission to the surface of the moon, is launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, with astronauts Charles Conrad Jr., Richard F. Gordon Jr., and Alan L. Bean on board. President Richard Nixon viewed the liftoff from Pad A at Cape Canaveral making him the first president to attend the liftoff of a manned space flight. On this day in 1967, Major General Bruno Hochmer, commander of the 3rd Marine Division, is killed when the helicopter he is travelling in is shot down. He was the most senior US officer to be killed in Vietnam up until then. On this day in 1940, German bombers devastate the English city of Coventry, demolishing tens of thousands of buildings and killing hundreds of men, women and children. Heir to the British throne, Charles Prince of Wales, is born on this day in 1948. And finally, the first golf club in South Africa, the Cape Golf Club, later renamed the Royal Cape Golf Club, is established on this day in 1885. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and tune in tomorrow for another This Day in History.